Remember, this entire manga and every manga on this channel is hand drawn by myself. And now you too can learn exactly how to make your own viral Dragon Ball mangas at www.makemanga.com where you can learn directly from me. My mangas have got me on TV, on newspapers and even earned me over $60,000 a month on Patreon alone. And now you can click the link in the description and pinned comment of this video and do it yourself. You only need to see the website to see just how many thousands of you are taking this opportunity right now. And don't forget also, the next video to this Ultra Vegito series has already been made and is live now on my Patreon right now for over 4,500 of you incredible fans to watch after this. Again, links are in the pinned comment and description. Enjoy! So our story continues with a smirking Prince of Saiyans Vegeta looking on at Goku with a cocky look as he finally arrives in the nick of time to save him. Along with the Saiyan of legend Broly who also returns his back turn to Vegeta instead looking ahead at their new foe light. <coughs> Vegeta! While Seraphim Goku understandably remains shell-shocked that not only had he survived his impending destruction at the hands of Light, but by the sudden returning hands of both Vegeta and Broly. And much less while they are in base form. As he mutters, You guys, you're finally done. You're stronger. Way stronger. <laughs> to which the smiling Vegeta would comment, Yes, clown! We trained and got stronger just like you! What did you think would happen? I suppose you also thought I'd stand idly by and let you have all the fun out here too! Silly Kakarot! I just needed a couple more days to perfect something. Isn't that right? Broly! <laughs> to which the normally silent giant Broly would just respond begrudgingly. Perfect. I would hardly describe such a villainous power as perfect. But do as you like. I'm here just to see how this all ends. Goku though, hearing this thought, would query however. Perfect something? Vegeta, what are you talking about? You didn't, did you? <laughs> As a smiling Vegeta, looking back, would just respond ominously. Did what, Kakarot? You don't seem to be on your usual Seraphim high horse anymore. Before slowly, Goku would then begin getting up and then reveal a smile of his own and reply hi horse <laughs> you really can never let me get an upper hand over you can you Vegeta this feels just like the old days you've ascended haven't you I can't wait to see just how powerful you've got now but Vegeta's attention would soon enough redirect back to the mission at hand. Looking forward at light with a serious stare and letting out something like that Kakarot. I guess you just have to wait and see. But first, I want to take a page out of your book and fight this child as I am now. Get a feel for how strong he really is. Can't say my hopes are too high though, with that appearance. <laughs> and just like that, with no more words needing to be said by the Saiyan Prince, Vegeta would shoot straight forward at light without hesitation, and curiously, in his base form only. <laughs> but the fifth of the five strongest, though with an emotionless look, would just wonder, so, 
two more have arrived out of that damn pyramid. Maybe I should have destroyed it after all. And these two look like Saiyans also. Could this one finally be the so-called God Killer? He certainly has the confidence for it. But of course, no matter how strong Vegeta could have possibly gotten in his base form, his first attack misses wildly, as Light just escapes with the most relaxed of motions. And unimpressed at the lack of speed and power, Light, knowing no better, would comment, No, this is no god killer. This is just another weakling. One even more of a waste of time than the other two. Why even send this creature out? Are these mortals really that dumb? <clears throat> but thinking deeply, taking in Light's movement, Vegeta would just introspect. This kid isn't phased in the slightest. Kakarot may not know it, but he's still holding back. Show me your power! And triggered that the fifth would take it so easy on royalty like himself, Vegeta would just then continue a barrage of attacks, this time in the form of kicks, each one being dodged perfectly by light without as much as a change in expression in his face or eyes. Attack back if you dare! Screaming louder as he continues his assault, goading the fifth to at least fight back so that he can feel his power. <coughs> this Saiyan has a death wish. Maybe it is time I start annihilating these nuisances. The God Killer is bound to come out eventually here. As increasingly losing his patience, Light would begin to heed Vegeta's call. But meanwhile though, as Vegeta would continue his attack up above, watching from down below would be Broly, who watching on patiently would observe Vegeta's actions thinking, he's doing this just the way he said he but whether his plan goes just as expected, only time will tell. Enough! As finally stepping things up a gear, Light would then dodge and emerge straight in front of Vegeta's unexpected face. <laughs> if death is what you wish, I can hand it out, worm! As he then pops back a bunch, clearly aimed to end the prince. <laughs> but interestingly, as we zoom in closer on Vegeta's face, his countenance would show he would be far from worried, almost inviting the attack as he giggles before... <laughs> Get real, kid! Suddenly, the right eye of Vegeta would change completely to the strange design previously seen in his completed true demon of destruction form. As with a big grin on his face, Vegeta's stare seems to stop Light's fist right in its tracks. <sighs> that eye! And once Light would make sight with it, its significance would soon come to be revealed, as he mutters that that looks like a demon emperor's eye! Who is this? <laughs> what? But before long, the fifth of the five strongest is then suddenly pushed straight backwards, as if Vegeta's presence alone created an invisible barrier that rejects him back, sending him flying as Vegeta just stands tall. But of course eventually, 
Light would spin and regain his composure. Though still with trepidation on his mind as he grumbles. What? What was that just now? Even this one can dare to push me back! <laughs> but his questioning would only last so long, as from his side, he would soon quickly realize a fast approaching powerful beam of energy, only inches away from making direct impact. <laughs> Where did this come from? Did he plan this out already? Leaving light now to stand before it as the beam destroys everything in its path and to its side in its pursuit of the fifth. And with no choice and more importantly no time left, Light would be forced to cross his arms together across his face and chest until... In a massive explosion, the mysteriously powerful blast of energy would finally make impact. Leaving behind a vast eruption of smoke bellowing everywhere and into the sky. <laughs> and shockingly revealed as the assailant who blasted the energy beam would be none other than Broly himself. Backing up Vegeta as if having been planned beforehand. With importantly now, his own left eye now activated too. Completely purple as he taps into his God of Destruction power combined with his angelic fusion with Mirus, as he would then remark coldly, Seems even the strongest of the five I've heard so many legends about can be caught off guard. Holy! While meanwhile Seraphim Goku, with an even more surprised look than before, Noticing the difference in Broly 2 would just mumble. Whoa! Broly! You've upgraded too! Just what kind of training were you guys doing in there? <laughs> you damn Saiyans! As emerging from the smoke finally, now singed and with truly an aggravated and furious look on his face, Light would stare through with his teeth gritted, letting out. So, Saiyans truly are a cowardly race, aren't they? Like those other two, you want to tag team me both at once. Very well. But you should know, I've seen that one eye trick already from that fake Seraphim. If you have more power to show, go ahead and show it already! Instead of wasting my time. Two on one, four on one, or your entire species! It matters not, I finally show you who you're dealing with! This all being watched by the three Saiyans on the battlefield ground, who at first remained silent, just watching on until... <laughs> Vegeta, breaking the silence, disregarding Light entirely, folding his arms and looking to Broly would just say... Lucky you, Broly. Looks like the kid wants a bit of you too. And even better, wants us to actually go all out. What do you say? Can't say I'm a fan of holding back like Kakarot anyway. <laughs> to which Broly would just respond seemingly not bothered. Listen, as long as Chilai and Limo are safe and I get my chocolates, then I'll do whatever it takes. I could care less about what anyone and just like that, the two would follow Light's request to a T, 
both powering up to their full power forms. Now fully mastered in their transformation and able to access them at will. With Vegeta now in his complete true demon of destruction form, complete with both Demon Emperor eyes, two black demon wings and God of Destruction symbols plastered all over his chest and abs. While Broly, now having his own destruction power combined, would stand with his pupils missing and eyes completely purple. Along with an angelic ring around his neck that has also changed color too. <gasps> You guys! Leaving Goku now shell shocked as he finally sees the true extent of both Vegeta and Broly's extensive progress. Marveling at their new forms, but more in particular at Vegeta's as he mutters, But Vegeta! That power! That feels just like Vegeta's! <laughs> But as Light would be watching on at the two completely different forms, only one would catch his eye. And his anger. <laughs> this! This cannot be! Another demon in the realm of the mortals! How dare they! As clenching his fists, and practically shaking from anger at Vegeta's appearance, he would naively then continue, That one has to be the God Killer! With the demon horns to match! What evil energy! And a disgrace to the members of the Five to be walking around so easily! You won't be spared like Makoto! You're being sent back down to where you belong, demon! <laughs> Looks like this kid's hormones are giving him mood swings. How adorable! But the devilishly smiling Vegeta would just be amused by Light's assumptions and Goku's shock as he lets out... Yes! I am the God Killer, and you're next on my list. This is the power of a true demon, born from the black heart of a ruthless Saiyan prince, and combined with the destructive talent that the late Beerus saw in me from the very beginning. I hope you enjoyed warming up against Kakarot's pathetic angel powers. Because you shall deal with the devil himself now! <laughs> Come to me, clown! As suddenly, full of Saiyan battle lust, like a peacock spreading its wings, Vegeta would power up ferociously once more his enormous aura spreading everywhere as thick black lightning sparks and breaks apart rubble and debris that rises up. All this while his destruction symbols on his chest glow brighter as if representing the fire in his blood now. And once more, Light would stand watching as the aura reaches a truly impressive size, blowing wind and debris everywhere, both in front and behind. <coughs> as even Goku is forced to close one of his eyes and raise his arm to cover his face to protect himself. From the sheer force, Vegeta is generating before commenting, Vegeta, just how much darkness was there always in your heart? If you're like this, then Vegeta will be. But before he can finish that horrific thought, a familiar foot would then appear beside Vegeta's despite his crazy aura. 
and Broly, unfazed, looking down with pupilless eyes, would just ask, So, how do you want this to go exactly? You seem ready to battle. Do you want this to go just like we practiced? Or should we go our separate ways? Either way, I don't think this guy is infallible. But, we should probably still approach with caution. <coughs> but a smirking Vegeta, cocky as always, especially when overflowing with his newfound energy, would just reply, CAUTION! You should be cautious of not dying by my hand! On accident, you lunk! Do whatever you want! What we practiced was for the purpose of training! Out here, I fight and kill alone! Just remember not to get in my way! Make one wrong move, and you will be erased by the power of my Hakai! And with that ominous threat made, the double-winged Vegeta would then just get into his classic Saiyan fighting stance, showing no matter what he becomes, you can't take the Saiyan out of him. Come Broly! And just like that, the two extremely overpowered Saiyans of destruction would shoot straight forward, simultaneously, directly at light, ready to take him up on his challenge. <laughs> but just like with Goku, light would respond by producing two energy shields that block both attacks at the same time, keeping him completely safe and away from harm's way. <laughs> Coward! What is this? Leaving both Vegeta and Broly grimacing with their teeth bared wide. Wondering why no matter how hard they try to push, the barrier just won't back down. <laughs> you two look as dumb as Yamoshi did when he first tried to get through my light shield. Give it up. No one, and nobody ever will, be able to penetrate energy as pure as mine. <laughs> Broly mad! But getting increasingly annoyed, and losing himself to his primal ways, Broly's muscles would flex before... <laughs> Suddenly! firing off a powerful blast of green energy that completely swallows light within it, while Vegeta just narrowly brings his arms away from being caught along with it. <laughs> that didn't get him, Broly! But Vegeta would be quick to realize Broly had actually hit nothing, sensing light elsewhere. <laughs> Leading to him quickly firing off like a beam of shadow straight towards a floating in mid-air light, whose feet are still smoking from seemingly having escaped Broly's blast by the skin of his teeth. <laughs> Get ready for the next dimension, kid! <laughs> As within an instant, true demon of destruction Vegeta, with a giant grin, would find himself now face first with the fifth. And in his palm, a concentrated black ball of demonic destruction before... Okay! Blasting, Vegeta would shoot the matter erasing attack, but only for light to dodge even at that distance. <laughs> and worse yet, suddenly land an elbow down on Vegeta's exposed arm for a bone-crunching impact. Instantly leading to the prince screaming out in pain, just as he always has done in reaction to a broken limb. Vegeta! 
But Broly, who after decades of training with Vegeta, had now formed a bond greater with him than even Goku, would then launch with rage in aid of his Saiyan friend. <laughs> you will pay for that! Screaming in a deep voice as his fist cocks back and his eyes glow a violent purple as his power surges. Jumping straight behind the in pain Vegeta to surprise attack light from in front. <laughs> this one seems even dumber than the rest. A head on attack? You were better off shooting key beams from afar, fool. As instantly mid sentence, his body would begin disappearing. <laughs> only then to appear straight behind Broly at practically the same time to slam an arm hard on the backside and spine of the legendary Saiyan, leading to Broly yelling in extreme pain as his mouth opens wider than ever before and blood shoots straight out from the internal rupture. <coughs> Sending him flying straight to the ground like a missile for devastating impact on his crash landing. Broly! Leaving Vegeta to now scream out for him instead as... <laughs> you know, giving in to the power of demons so much is not a smart idea. Now that my dark side has made an appearance, I wonder if I can... <laughs> Suddenly, Vegeta would sense his own body completely freeze into place. Uh, what? My body! Leaving a heavily vibrating prince to now be left standing like a mannequin. As just like with Goku, his energy seems to momentarily be taken over by light. <laughs> Buzz off! You damn brat! As Light, as if controlling a puppet, would then just flick his hands and fingers upwards as Vegeta's body shoots into the sky like a rocket in return. What now? But only for his body to then abruptly reach a stop in the sky, still under the control it seems of Light, as Vegeta, now beyond angered, would yell, Unhand my body! How are you doing this? As suddenly, Vegeta would soon begin to realize just what Light had planned. As no longer in control of himself, Vegeta would suddenly place his hands together in iconic fashion as the legendary purple lightning of his famous Gallic gun then powers up in his hands without any control of his own. Ugh! Vegeta, get a hold of yourself! Eventually noticed by a near petrified Broly on the ground, who while on his backside can only imagine the devastating impact of a full powered blast from Vegeta and from way up high in the sky. Ah, Vegeta! No! Oh! Light, he must be controlling him just like he did with me! And Goku, watching on below, would also soon catch on to what is happening too. Broly! Huh. But not allowing for any more senseless panic, it would soon be heard the voice of Mirus from within Broly. As annoyed at the Saiyan's lack of action, he would command, It's Light who's controlling Vegeta right now! Take him out, and so too does his control of him! Go Broly! Attack him now! And instantly, not needing to be told twice, Broly would then begin powering up a frighteningly concentrated ball of green energy right within his mouth before... In one 
raucous yell from his mouth alone, Broly would unleash a gigantic breath, launching a ludicrously powerful beam of energy directly at Light, nearly reaching him in a split second. Huh? That oaf is still moving? Surprising even Light with just the idea that Broly hadn't been put down yet before. You Saiyans really are like cockroaches! As suddenly, once more, Light would make Broly's attack seem like nothing, as his white energy shield once again is summoned and would completely and easily defend against the full power of the Saiyan's beam. Huh? I'm free! But as Light would focus his energy there, Unbeknownst to him, Vegeta would instantly then break free from his control. As turning his head and gazing towards light, maniacally, Vegeta would scream, Seems you can't control me and attack at the same time! An interesting detail, but you should have known, if even Bubbly couldn't control the great Vegeta, then you had no chance! Gallic Gun! Yeah! As instantly maintaining the power he had summoned, Vegeta would then turn and blast his powerful energy beam straight at Light, right as he remains preoccupied with Broly. What? No! You're kidding me! As Light, in his final moments before impact, would ironically be lost in the bright purple illumination of Vegeta's blast on one side and the still pushing bright green light of Broly's beam on the other, leaving the childlike warrior to be well and truly trapped until... In a gigantic explosion of untold proportions mid-air, a blast would be seen eviscerating everything in its surrounding area and more than likely whatever is located within it. And in the aftermath, only a thick black plume of smoke can be seen rising into the air. <coughs> that is, until a dark evil eye cuts through that could only belong to one certain deity. As emerging once again from the smoke, but this time far more damaged and with the signs of tattered clothing, would be light again. But notably, more of his hair had turned black. <laughs> Until in the end, his hair completely changes. Now with a serious stare, and with an unknown increase in power level, letting out... You two have done it now. You two have begun the Age of Darkness. <laughs> oh no! Causing Yamoshi, who stands observant in the background, who also knows more about light and his abilities than most, to react in shock. Light has mastered it after all these years. I've never seen anyone apart from Dai ever push him this far. He's going to do it. He's going to change to... Dark! <laughs> As standing up above, looking down on all the Saiyans, the divine member of the Five would remain silent, covered in spontaneous electricity, but thinking to himself, these mortals have had long enough of a run, and that demon for sure has been breathing for far too long in the presence of a god. <laughs> huh? As suddenly light now, as a shadowy figure would appear almost instantly without warning behind a taken off guard Vegeta before. <laughs> 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 
swiftly and brutally, assaulting him with a back fist from behind, concaving the prince's left cheek instantly. <laughs> one down, one more weakling to go. As in quick fashion, done already with Vegeta, Light would then turn his direction of sight towards Broly. Do not underestimate us! But Broly, unwilling to give up or let Vegeta go down, would then suddenly jump forward in rage, his body tensed until... What? Even in his furious state, Broly would notice something approaching fast, and it would not be light, as he slowly then turns his back before... <laughs> Suddenly a barrage of white energy beams would slam straight onto his backside, as if heat-seeking missiles, causing a violent explosion on each strike. In the end, leaving Broly still standing, but with a waft of thick smoke coming off his back. Eventually revealing a truly gruesome and painful looking burn all over his tail end. <coughs> and in the end, even his front side wouldn't be looking too good, as the damage seems to be more than just skin deep, with Broly now just grunting, his eyes starting to close, and blood forcefully leaking down his mouth. Broly! And watching this all go down would be Goku, this time reacting and jumping into action as you would typically expect. Hold on! would immediately then power up his aura, ready to enter the battle with the duo. <sighs> but meanwhile, Broly would reach the end of his tether, unable to keep himself standing anymore as he falls to his knees. <laughs> Damn it! Aggravating Vegeta, who has himself now recovered, but realizes... That kid! His power just jumped again! What's with the dark hair? It's clearly related. I have a bad feeling this is just the beginning of how strong he can get! <clears throat> but coming to the rescue, Seraphim Goku would quickly arrive right behind Broly, and with his palm outstretched forward. And as his hand is placed on Broly's shoulder, he would look down fondly with a smile and remark, You did great, Broly. I can't believe how strong you've gotten. They weren't kidding about your potential. But I think we're all going to have to do our part if we want to win against this guy. Here, have some of my energy. As soon after, Goku's hand would begin glowing a cyan blue. And so too would Broly's entire body as it becomes enveloped in a divine energy coming straight from Seraphim Goku. <laughs> and with that, just like with Vegeta, Broly too would be completely healed. Standing up immediately, looking down at his now repaired injuries and saying, K Kakarot, you did this? Why? To which a smiling Goku would just say with his eyes closed, Hey, I know you and Vegeta got close in there, but I'm on your team too, don't forget. We're all in this together. As the two would then turn their gaze to light far off in the sky, before Goku would let out, But you should really take a break first. Me and Vegeta can hold him off until you recover. <laughs> Never! But Broly pushing back would just refuse. But as Goku and Broly would ready themselves, a pair of feet with a dangling tail would begin descending down to the ground before landing softly. <laughs> and of course, it would be revealed to be Yamoshi, 
who also now feels ready to join in the fun, saying, As the elder here, I guess it wouldn't be a great look to stand by and watch you throw your young Saiyan lives away. I will fight too. Light is my student after all. <laughs> and just like that, in a four-way split screen, all four legendary Saiyans that once made up most of Vegito are then seen, smirking and battle-ready as they prepare to take on Light's new form all at once, with the legendary fifth of the five strongest just remaining in the air not phased in the slightest before finally saying Come, my name is now Dark. But that was it for today's video guys and if you made it this far leave me a hashtag Dark in the comments down below and let me know just how you think the combined efforts of all four legendary Saiyans together will do against the fifth of the five strongest new four. Or just head over to my Patreon right now where you can see the full next video, fully voice acted, soundtracked and edited for you to enjoy with over 4,700 other fans, as well as getting access to 250 plus other fan mongers too. It's the deal of the century.